Once you know this, you can't ignore this. What's key to understand this is that the last 17 years, everything has radically changed. And over the last 17 years, now that we have social media, now that we can share information, the whole game has completely been unraveled. So in the 1900s, there was a group of people that said, we have enough educated people. We need a society of workers. Fast forward to 2023, what do we have? A massive wealth gap in a society of workers. The education system was created by the same people. The medical system was created by the same people. How they regulated banks was created by the same people. So the people that regulate the banks, their job is to control the money supply and job markets. The healthcare, their job is to treat symptoms, not problems. And the education system job is to get you to memorize and not be educated or be able to problem solve. So if you can put a young child in school at a very young age, from zero to eight, they're pure subconscious, and you can teach them history, his story, and during their most malleable state, you can get them to believe whatever you want them to believe, and teach them standardized testing that teaches them how to memorize, not how to problem solve, and you grade them off of a grade score, or a grade point average, training them for the worker bee society. So now the student gets out of school, their parents have been working two jobs because they're just trying to survive. Because their parents who went through the Great Depression were the first groups to be indoctrinated, or the start of the first groups to be indoctrinated into this. Then this is passed down to our parents. So the student becomes an adult. In their whole life, they were deemed by a grade point average. And they watch their parents work two jobs just to survive. So they try to get into a college, but they don't have a good grade point average. And then they're told you need to go to school get a job and get a good credit score so you can get better health insurance, better auto loans, better ability to borrow against your future self. And then what they do is they teach you to get health insurance and auto insurance and life insurance, but they don't teach you how money works, how to invest in yourself, how to beat inflation through entrepreneurship, how to create preventative health, but they do teach you how to get a 30 month mortgage, now a 94 month auto loan, they do teach you to spend a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars on an education that's subsidized by the government ever since they got involved. Education got very expensive to get out and barely survive. So here's what I believe. We're at the end of the road. The reason why they were really upset about TikTok is because our parents and our grandparents had what's called a television. It told them a vision from a channel that channeled information and they gave them programming through the television programming. And now things have switched dramatically from social media changes. There's too many outlets out there. Everybody has access to the information. So the key is to keep the people really busy. If you can keep them looking this way, and then this way, and then this way, you can keep them deep in the left hemisphere of the brain and out of the creative state of mind. <laughs> but if you're still here, here's what's happening. There's a massive transition in the financial space, human consciousness, all over the world. People are waking up or falling deeper asleep. And within the next 10 years, our world is going to look completely different. People are learning that they no longer have to trade time for money. That there's different ways to do their wealth other than a vertical, straight up, go to school, get a job, get health care, and get a 401k. And the reason why they don't like apps like this is because you can decide to swipe up or swipe down. You don't have to watch my video. You can skip the commercial. You can decide what programming you get. And based on the things that you watch, the things that you see, and the things that you speak, the algorithm picks it up and feeds it to you. So if your feed is full of junk, that means you're thinking that way. That means you're seeking that. So if you made it this far, here's what I did. I don't know if this will work for you, but it worked for me. I cleaned up what I was seeing, what I was hearing, and what I was ingesting. I created my own programming. I stopped trying to escape the matrix and I created my own. Every day I wake up, I spend time with God. I do my affirmations. I pick daily activities that are gonna move the needle forward for my long-term and my short-term goals. I use social media to be social, to create friends, to create relationships and connections. I took my special skills and talents that I learned from other people on social and mentors and coaches and reading thousands of hours of books and using this technology for good, and I started to become an educator. My whole goal was to create freedom for me and my family. Now I mean my family's family, family. So how do you do that? Number one is you have to get back to being a creator. You have to learn how to problem solve again. 
you have to start using preventative health. You need to learn that finances aren't vertical. It should be horizontal. You can't just be in cryptocurrency. You can't just be in real estate. You can't just have a 401k or a Roth IRA. You should be diversified. You should be non-emotional about the markets. And lastly, what I did was I created a really deep connection with God. And I realized that we are more alike than we are apart. I found out that about 99% of our DNA is exactly the same. And I think it's less than 1% is what separates us. But the very people who created the same programming take the 1% and separate us. Let that sink in. Watch that again. I realize that there is no invisible enemy. I'm not against left. I'm not against right. I don't spend my days trying to pull the straw out of my brother or sister's eyes. I pull the log out of my eye every single day. What you believe, I believe you because that's your truth. And if somebody comes at me for my belief system in God or Jesus, I say, okay. Because if they're constantly coming at people, I just look at their reality and I can see what's happening internally. And I can see myself in them because I used to be them. Therefore, I can no longer judge them. And true mastery comes from healing the Judas inside of yourself. Judas sat on the right of Jesus, in my opinion, blocking him from the right hemisphere of the brain, which is creativity, intuition. And when intuition and creativity is held for a long enough period of time, it brings things into 3D form. So if you're constantly judging others, that means you're judging yourself. And if you learn not to judge others, and most of all, not judge yourself, it opens up the right, Judas goes away, Judas gets cast out. And when Judas is cast out, you get in the right hemisphere of the brain, you open up your mind, and remember, there's only certain people that could see Jesus after three days when he rose. They had a mark on their forehead. You can dive into why you think that is. So open up your mind. Most of all, open up your heart. And understand there is a different way. There's a path to freedom. And it's not through money. It's not through cars. And it's not through escaping the matrix. It's understand that you came through the womb, the matrix. That just like a young child from zero to eight years old when the education system teaches him to be a created I am instead of the great I am. You need to go back to that childlike state of mind, like Jesus said, to get in the kingdom of heaven, you need to be like this lonely child. So get back into your creative state of mind. Start reconnecting with your kids. Reconnecting with earth and rewiring your food. Start working harder on yourself than you do anything else. Stop judging your brother or your sister or your neighbor. Stop judging yourself and give yourself some grace. The last thing I want to tell you is I unconditionally love every single one of you with all my heart without expectations. Let's make it a great rest of 2023. Let's pray for those who people are judging. Let's lock arm in arm. And let's rise together. Warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Love you guys. For my family's heart to yours. I do regret that I have to say this on every video, but I will never proactively DM you. I will never proactively DM you on WhatsApp, Telegram. I have a Warrior Academy, my blueprint, my 120 day challenge link in bio. Those are all scammers. There's thousands of them. Don't ever send anybody money off social, Telegram, WhatsApp. We do not invest people's money. I love you guys. I want to say this on every video as many times as I can because I want to protect my friends. So I wish you a great weekend and let's make it a great day.